Good morning from uh, Gilly Islands, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today is my last day on Gilly Air, and I wanted to make this video because there's so much that I've learned while I've been here. And ironically, I've been in Indonesia, Bali, much longer than I've been in just Gili Islands. And yet, this Gili Air experience in this uh, number of days that I've been here, I feel has actually been much more expansive to my own evolution and also my connection with others. And I'm not quite certain whether it's because I myself am just in the right energy for receiving that, but it feels like the giving and the receiving here has been phenomenal. So in this time that I've been here, I'm thrilled that Gilly Ear has been fantastic for me. So I wanted to today talk about something about exceeding expectations. And I know a few clients that I've spoken with, I've shared this with that, uh, it's interesting that when I came to Gilly Islands, this was the first part of my trip that I've actually said, okay, Hadifa, this is just for fun because you want to be near the ocean and go just for fun. And as it turns out, my best work has happened here, which is so fantastic in a much shorter time, as you know, than the months that I've been in Bali. So I wanted to share this idea of exceeding expectations, and that's the title of this video, as you might have seen. So I want to start with this quotation, which says, exceed expectations seek to bring more value to a relationship than you receive seek to bring more value to a relationship than you receive and i feel that in terms of i've of course stayed at a couple of different um, homestay style uh, hotels and uh, it's been very nice and there's something about exceeding expectations so in terms of i know that i'm in a habit of clearing up um, garbage that might be on my my um, area of eating so that might be easy to say that okay you're not going to leave garbage but of course you know when you're being served <clears throat> it's the servers that actually take away your plates and um, any garbage you might have from uh, the meal that you've eaten and uh, it's very lucky that that actually got into a very good habit for me in terms of uh, being in Ubud and so fantastic you know that I'm used to cooking in Ubud and loving to use the kitchen there and uh, having a really good time that way but I always feel that even though I know that it's the homestay's responsibility, technically, if we were thinking about this is what this place offers, this is part of the service that they offer. But you know, you don't need a title. I think some of you might be following my um, thinking process a little bit. I'm hoping to help your thinking process or your thought process too. We don't have to be a particular title to do things that are right. And so it's, um, yes, okay, I want to be served in some restaurants and some restaurants I wouldn't be able to go into their kitchens. And uh, here too, I don't necessarily go into the kitchen. I've kind of peeked in to just pass something. But oftentimes I'll leave my plates um, away from my, my table here or my tables, whether here or elsewhere, just over to the front space that I know will be easier for them to take it away. And then my table can be cleaned off because of course everything needs to be taken away to clean that table. And it's so comfortable for me. Like it's it's just such a normal thing for me that it's uh, there's no there's no concern. It's not like you know serve me. Like you know here here I am. I'm paying for this, so you need to serve me. It's this humanity and this idea of exceeding expectations. So a lot of times uh, the people that are serving me are very surprised and very helpful and uh, handy to get anything that I need for sure. I go and I ask. But they're also very surprised that I actually bring something back. And I've, of course, been thanked for that. Or I shouldn't say, of course, I've been thanked for that. And I'm appreciative for the thank yous, too. Not expecting them, but actually expecting this of me. So this exceeding expectations is what I expect of me. So of me, if I've paid to stay in a particular place, I expect certain, certain things for me. And you might, too. And... I thought, you know what, I'm a human and they're a human and this is the work that they do, but can I do this? So I keep my space relatively neat and I will definitely, in terms of, yeah, taking away these uh, dishes sort of idea. That's a simple, simple thing, but this whole idea of exceeding expectations. Now, an expectation from someone who's serving me to me, an expectation from me is that they'll expect that I'll just wait for them to clear up my table. I expect more of myself. So when I exceed expectations of myself, of I can do this and why don't I help, that's who I choose to be. 
And this is, again, knowing that I don't need the title of I'm a server here or I'm being paid to do this, so I'm doing it. It's because I can, because I can and I want to. And this is something we can understand in any relationship. So this is, again, in the hotel industry or we say hospitality. And even in hospitality, one thing that I've really noticed is, uh, is that a lot of times when someone is hired, um, and even if someone just owns a place, they will do it in their own time. <laughs> so if they know that you're brand new, you get this extra service and so much care and, and kindness and so much even enthusiasm, such a nice welcome, because there's this idea of, okay, this person is here, I want them to stay. And then beyond that, it's like, well, they're here for this much time. And then the day one is leaving, it's a very different energy. Unless you've really bonded with people, which I have been fortunate to do in many places. But I do know that in these shorter stays that I'm having here in Gilly Air, I've noticed that, yeah, the day that I'm leaving is actually very, very simple, straightforward, you know, pay the bill and go. And I visited um, the place that I'd been at uh, last time which was so lovely. They were so surprised that I actually came back to visit. Very, very happy. And the second time I went to visit, very, very different because I said, oh, I'm leaving tomorrow. And it was almost like the disappointment, I'm going to tell you intuitively, I definitely know that the disappointment was more, oh, you won't be coming back here. Like, you know, we've been so nice to you. Don't you owe that to us sort of energy to the point that someone who I know um, does not need, I don't, I don't know. Actually, I don't know anything about their finances but wanted the shirt off my back and you know don't we say that i'd give so and so my sh the shirt off my back well it was the only shirt i was wearing and it wasn't a, a sexual thing but i was so shocked that that was asked what i'm just communicating to connect with a person and then when we think of exceeding expectations exceeding expectations from ourselves is rather than being the space of what can you do for me and what are you going to do for me to earn my kindness my respect my anything what can you give me? We switch it to what can I give you? And giving you, it's not the shirt off my back, but certainly it's interesting that we do not recognize kindness when it's given for no reason. And this is something that I know I have plenty of and I find very easy to give that kindness. And it is a huge value to be able to work from that space. I remember thinking about uh, Mahatma Gandhi's quote of kindness is my religion. And I feel that. I definitely feel that if that's the baseline of everything that we do is the space of kindness. Of course, I know that spiritual leaders, sages, um, swamis, gurus have spoken this in so many ways and uh, probably very similar words. Living it is a beautiful experience. And this is the thing because because I have no expectation out of the other, I have an expectation of myself when I exceed my expectations. It's a fabulous feeling. And this is an energy that we send out into the world. It's not only for us. It's for who we're speaking to and beyond. And so it comes through us, helps us first, and helps everyone around us. So I wanted to share another quotation, which says, Be the best version of yourself, exceed expectations, and success will follow. Now you think, wow, success. Now what do you link success to? So a lot of people link success to money. Well, we could, what did that make you for? Well, there's something to be said about self-satisfaction, a self-awareness, uh, and an awareness of helping the world. You know, there, some people know of this idea of the most generous thing that one can do is planting a seed that you will never sit under the tree that you have planted. So this idea that you're planting the seed of kindness is huge. So, but people don't give it value and we have to give it value. So don't have to, I would say I'd encourage us to, but I will say that in living it, it's definitely a beautiful feeling and I encourage it because we can see that this is happening all over the world right now, whether in our workplaces, whether in our travel time, whether in our personal spaces, that it's okay, well, what are you giving me? Okay, well, you're giving me this, so I'll give you that, that's transactional. And if I look at what am I giving, what can I give, what can I share with, and even if that's purely just being in a really compassionate, kind energy, it's huge, it's huge. And it's something, it's so basic, but that many are not practicing right now. And this is again, that movement into an ego space as opposed to a spiritual space. So then I thought I'd share another quotation with you. And this is, again, whether we think of God or the universe or um, higher source, whichever word you'd like to use for this, this one uses the word God, and I definitely think it applies in all of these ways. 
I thought I'd share this quotation with you. This one is by Henri J.M. Nguyen, and it says, I have found it very important in my own life to try to let go of my wishes and instead to live in hope. I am finding that when I choose to let go of my sometimes petty and superficial wishes and trust that my life is precious and meaningful in the eyes of God, something really new, something beyond my own expectations begins to happen for me. And this is what I'm finding here. This is this wonderful space that I'm in that I'm the same and yet I'm giving more from my heart. Today, I'm very consciously aware of it. And this energy that is coming back to me is not limited to the people that I'm interacting with. I feel it from the universe that something is supporting me and helping me along. And I'd love for you to feel this experience too, though it does take a conscious effort. And effort is a good thing. We all want to put our effort into something that feels fantastic. And let me tell you, this feels fantastic. I wanted to finish with one more quotation and this one does not have an author, but it says, nobody succeeds beyond his or her wildest expectations unless he or she begins with some wild expectations <laughs> and this is interesting so you can't exceed beyond these wild expectations this is the whole idea of knowing that we can go beyond simple expectations and i remember my mom used to uh, sometimes sign cards to me saying things like uh, reach for the moon and you might hit a star and that sort of idea it's the same idea and so this is again, nobody succeeds beyond his or her wildest expectations unless he or she begins with some wild expectations. Today, I wish you some wild expectations from yourself. That's the only place that we can have some control in and it's the most beautiful space to work from. I wish you a fabulous day ahead and I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. I'll talk to you next time.